Cruising in National City is getting the green light. Tonight, three decades after a no cruising ordinance took effect, the city voted in favor of repealing it. Good evening, thanks for joining us. I'm Marcella Lee. I'm Jesse Pagan. The effort to lift the cruising ban has seen its struggles over the years, but some say tonight's vote is progress. CBS 8's Regina Yurita was at the meeting. She's live in National City with what lowrider supporters are saying tonight. Regina? Yeah, Marcella and Jesse, this has become a statewide movement, and it actually started because of this uh, coalition in National City. However, when other cities were um, were actually lifting their bans throughout California, the lowriders here were being hit with one barrier after another. Tonight, the city has agreed that cruising is not a crime here. A huge victory for the low riding clubs in National City. I don't think I'm going to be able to sleep. I'm so happy. I'm so excited. I mean, our fight is finally over. After decades of pushing for a change in ordinance, the council voted in favor to repeal the law and bring back a cultural lifestyle to Highland Avenue once again. Times have changed. That was the 80s, 90s. Today is 2023. During the city council meeting, not only did leaders vote to lift the ban, but Assembly Member David Alvarez also shouted a state bill he introduced that would lift cruising bans throughout California. And it is now time that they cruise without the fear of being stopped or judged. The National City law was put in place back in the 90s to prohibit riding on Highland Avenue if it was more than once while cruising with low riders. The law came after concerns of crime and traffic congestion from cruising. Many black and Latino riders felt discriminated and since then have argued that this is a law that profiles people of color. Low riding means to each and every one of these here that they can take their cars, whether it's a low rider or not, they can go and cruise. But now with a repeal in just two weeks, many men and women are planning to join the low and slow crews in the streets of National City. Now, this is definitely a historical moment for those low riding enthusiasts. It's a long time coming for them. This is something that they've been pushing for decades. I do have to clarify that this ban, it, it was lifted just for individual cruising. However, there is a next hearing April 18th uh, to actually discuss the larger cruising events and that uh, they will decide more specifics on that. Live in National City, I'm Regina Yurita. Thanks, Regina.